I don't know who at Carnival Cruise Line thought it was a good idea to give microphones to irate guests on board a cruise ship, but it went just about as well as you would think. Hey, hey, welcome to the Midships channel. It's your Captain Corey. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel today. And let's get things kicked off with a question of the day. Question, have you ever experienced a travel interruption while cruising? Let me know about it in the comments down below. Now, let's get into it. In now viral videos circulating through social media, Carnival Cruise passengers can be seen brandishing microphones in the middle of the theater on board Carnival Vista and complaining about changes to their cruise itinerary, demanding refunds, and essentially holding the cruise line hostage until they meet their demands. All this because their eight-night Southern Caribbean cruise on the Vista happened to be turned into an eight-night Eastern Caribbean cruise due to ongoing propulsion problems with that particular ship. And judging by the video, which lasts four or five minutes, I don't know, there's a couple of them now floating around, some of these passengers may never be cruising with Carnival again. And not because they're upset with the cruise line, but because the cruise line is upset with them. Behavior like this on a cruise ship can lead to anything from disembarkation to cabin confinement or even lifetime bans from ever sailing again with Carnival or any line for that matter. And while it might seem reasonable for cruise passengers to demand answers from Carnival, especially when you hear more about the backstory going on here, Standing up on stage with a microphone and threatening the captain directly that the ship isn't going anywhere until you get your money, that's pretty next level stuff. Now let me explain why this situation happened in the first place. And no, it's not because there's a hurricane in the Atlantic. It's not because there's a rogue wave. That's because the Carnival Vista is fundamentally a broken cruise ship, along with both of her sister ships, the Horizon and the Panorama. They're all in the Vista class. And this is a class of cruise ships that Carnival likely wishes they had never bought. If you go back to 2016, when the Vista class first launched, this ship alone, the Vista, has encountered five major propulsion issues. Her sister ship, the Horizon, has suffered similar problems, as has the Carnival Panorama, the newest ship in recent times. Most industry experts believe there's a recurring issue with the Azipod system beneath these ships. Those are very complex units under the water. Essentially, they're pods that rotate 360 degrees. They got big propellers attached to them. And apparently the Azipods on this Vista class or a real pain in the Azipod. With half a dozen or more reports of reduced cruising speeds, itinerary changes, and outright canceled cruises for weeks on end, this has been a huge problem that Carnival Cruise Line has likely known about since 2017 or sooner, which makes it a bit more understandable why these passengers were so upset. Now back to this video on board the Vista. In it, you can see there's like a middle-aged or maybe a little bit older gentleman who's beckoned up by one of the gals that's holding a microphone. And this guy shared some information saying, I'm someone who's been on 25 Carnival cruises. He went on to say that Carnival has a policy of not giving cash refunds for problems like this which prompted some of the microphone holders to accuse the crew members, particularly the captain of lying to all the guests. And it was just wild to watch this whole situation unfold. I'm sure this older gentleman was kind of caught off guard by the reaction. He probably regretted doing that. If you ask me, you could kind of tell from his reaction. It was likely a known fact on board the ship among these upset passengers that their vacations were about to be altered big time. And this vacation was actually a pretty rare one. These Southern Caribbean cruises for eight nights, they're not common for Carnival cruise ships, especially on larger ships like the Vista. This particular cruise 
featured a really cool itinerary. Grand Turk, Aruba, Curacao. These are probably once in a lifetime destinations for a lot of the people on this cruise. And they're all places that the passengers on this sailing of the Vista will no longer be getting to enjoy on this cruise. Instead, now they're visiting non-exotic places like Nassau and Freeport in the Bahamas, as well as private islands, Princess and Half Moon Key. For Carnival's part, they've apologized to these affected guests and offered to let them disembark at the next cruise port for a 100% refund, plus a refund of any amenities, excursions, packages that they paid for. And that's not gonna make travelers whole if they had to pay for flights, hotels, parking, other accommodations to get to this cruise that they just abandoned. Y'all, I can't believe this onboard protest turned into basically a sit-in. It's crazy to me to think about it. I've never been on a cruise with people behaving this badly. Is it just like a 2024 mindset, 2025 mindset, or is it a carnival cruise thing? We've seen people act out on other cruise lines like Royal Caribbean, so I don't think it's just a carnival issue. To me, it really feels like it's a sign of the times. But what do you think about all of this? Are these people crazy? Should they be banned from the cruise line? Share your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. While you're down there, don't forget the thumbs up button is a wonderful way to help this video get shared to more people here on YouTube. Don't forget to get subscribed to the channel. And remember, your time here on the midships, it's not over yet. Because coming up in about five seconds, you're going to be prompted to watch this video, which explains why Carnival might be doing away once and for all with the 15 drink a day limit on their ships.